Hey, John Kavakis here with a brand new edition of My Take. And today we're looking at Stamps 1958 Cadillac Eldorado Convertible. Now, have you ever noticed that Eldorados, particularly in the 50s and 60s, always had a little bit of gold trim on them, trim somewhere, either V in the Cadillac, that sort of thing. Other Cadillacs had it too. But let me tell you where that comes from. Eldorado is a contraction of two Spanish words that translate to the golden one. It was also the name of the mythical Colombian city that Spanish explorers were so eager to find. So El Dorado also speaks of gold. Now that nameplate showed up for the first time in a concept car, a 1953 concept car that actually went into limited production. Um, it, it was a beautiful car, uh, handmade. Uh, all of the body panels were unique. It was built on a unique chassis. Uh, and it, it, it did what it's supposed to do. It got everybody's attention. Uh, it was for Cadillac's 50th anniversary. They made a big splash with it. They sold 532 units of them, which doesn't sound like a lot, but they sold for $7,700 a piece. That's a lot of money, and that's not bad volume on a car that expensive in 1952. The second generation came in 1954 through 1956. These shared body panels and chassis with the production Cadillacs. The front ends were very similar, but they had unique rear quarters, unique uh, rear ends. And uh, those models were the first ones that showed very prominent fins. Uh, and Cadillac did well with them. They became a great uh, halo car. Uh, for Cadillac and sales began to pick up. The third, third generation appeared 1957, 1958, still had unique if not somewhat polarizing for those two years design, particularly the rear end, had gigantic fins and that sloping trunk lid, that sloping tail, uh, either you like it or you love it. Uh, but 1958 also brought the advent of quad headlights uh, and so had a new grill. Uh, revised the rear end in 1958, a little bit different than the 57 model, still had those characteristics. So in 1958, they introduced a special concept car called the Raindrop Concept. Now, these were five specially equipped cars that Cadillac made that had sensors in the interiors that when it, it were for the convertibles, uh, that if the top was down and they sensed moisture, they would automatically put the top up. It was a fantastic idea. And it's something that you see on a lot of modern convertibles. Uh, unfortunately, the technology uh, in 1958 wasn't able to keep up with the concept and it never really went into production, but they made five of them. And that's the model that Stamp is working on prototypes on. And I've got one here. Uh, now, ostensibly, the car will come in two colors. Uh, one is Argyle Blue Iridescent, and the other one will be red uh, with a white interior. Both uh, models will come with either a top up or a top down. Uh, stamps, I'm expecting the price point to be somewhere around 129 stamps price point. Uh, but bear in mind that these are prototypes. And I, I want you to take a close look at it. Then I'll have another word with you about prototypes. Let me get the cover off, get this on the turntable, and give you a look at the detail. So there it is. What a stunning interior. I'll tell you something. They're at the top of their game on interiors. Even the little details are really well done. And that finish, you know, I've, I've got some new lights and a new camera, and I'm able to give you a better picture of what the finish looks like. It is, it is absolutely spectacular. Uh, but these are prototypes. And so, you know, bear in mind that there might be some changes, some minor changes. They're pretty far along in the production cycle, but there might be some minor changes. And the reason GLM sends them to us is so that we get an early look at them. And, uh, you know, sometimes they can make adjustments. So 
uh, they're hoping that you'll take a look at this. Some of you Cadillac experts out there will give us a little bit of feedback. Now, to do that, uh, you need to leave a comment. Uh, and so it would be helpful uh, to leave a comment on the YouTube channel. Uh, you do that by clicking on the YouTube logo down here at the bottom. It'll take you to the YouTube channel, and you'll write your comment in there. Uh, so the comments help. They help GLM. Uh, they help Stamp. They help me. Uh, with the channel and also the likes. If you enjoyed the video, uh, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumb up. So that's my take on Stamps 1958 Cadillac Eldorado Convertible. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate your time. Channel's doing well, and I'm excited. I've got a lot more to show you. I'll be back again soon.